so um i got my new uh epson eco tank printer and uh i just want to share some information with you um like what made me right here basically the uh this is unlike a lot of other okay so it comes you know you can make photocopies and stuff you know whatever uh so in order to uh you know it doesn't have ink cartridges so all you do is you uh you just dump the ink inside here and of course they're all full i've got them all full it tells you how much you know it'll be a white space in here when you start using it but on a full uh you know when they're full you get like seven seven thousand five hundred uh prints and you know comes out pretty decent just for my birthday right here so uh i got a little birthday coupon you see it prints fine it looks pretty good uh so this is like very economically friendly uh epson eco tank and it's like super easy like it comes with the four ink not cartridges but they're just tubes and you just dump them in here and you don't have like you just uh you don't have to open them or anything you just turn them over and stick them in there and then it's designed to release inside here that's the only way that the ink will come out is when you actually put it on top uh so you get 7500 um <clears throat> pages you can print and normally you would only get maybe 3000 max on most other printers so um <sighs> And then the refills, the little tubes for the ink, they're only like, I think five, fifteen, twenty dollars each. You know, ink cartridges can cost like hundreds of dollars. You know, like fifty. I've seen them go for like fifty dollars a piece, something like that, something crazy. Okay, so um, the the printer that I had before was an HP uh, Workhorse eighty seven twenty. HP Workhorse uh, 8720 Inkjet Pro. All right. So that printer, the Eco Tank, it would cost three hundred dollars, and it's super easy to set up. It comes with four cartridges and then a power cord. That's it. You plug it up, you dump the ink in, and boom, you're ready. And then just connect to that Wi-Fi, uh, and it's ready to go. So, um, the printer I had before, like I said, HP Inkjet Pro 8720, uh, it's a big, it was like $180, and the thing about it is, in order to use it, you have to subscribe and pay for a membership at HP Inc, HP Inc com. That membership is like $14, $15 a month. If you don't pay that $14, $15 membership every month, you can't print. You can't print. It'll say your printer is offline and you need to connect to HP Inc., which costs $15 a month. Even if you don't print. Even if you don't print at all. And you can't buy with the HP stuff. You can't buy ink cartridges. You can't buy them. They won't sell them to you. They will send them to you automatically because the HP Inc. whole deal is it connects your printer online and then they can tell how much ink you have. When it gets low, they send you the cartridges for free. You know, they don't, they just send them to you. <sighs> Hold on. Do they, I wonder if they, they might bill you for them when they send, I think, no, they, they just send them to you, I think. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the kicker. So I had that printer less than five years and it just quit one day. So one day it was saying that one of the ink cartridges, it wouldn't read. So it was like, you know, if, in order to troubleshoot this, you need to connect to HP ink, troubleshoot it, da, da, da. So they said you need to take out the ink cartridge, clean the terminals, put it back in. I did that. Still didn't work. Okay. I was like, okay, well maybe it's the cartridge itself. So I, you know, contacted customer support. They actually did send me another cartridge, even though it said it was full, because I told them about the problem. Boom, got another cartridge. 
plug it in. It's it's a full cartridge. It's still saying that, you know, it just can't read it. So it's like an internal malfunction with the printer. And nobody fixes them. Nobody works on them. So, boom. I had to trash it. Uh, the reason I got that printer is... Because you know, I, I wanted to do photos, print photos and stuff. It's, it was, it was, it's, it's. They hype it up a lot. It doesn't even really print photos that good. It's, it's all right at best. It's okay at best. Um, the thing about it was, you pay fourteen dollars a month for this membership, right? Even if you don't print, you still got to pay it. And then on top of that, you can only print three hundred pages max. You know what I'm saying? You can't go over 300. You can't print more than 300. Uh, you go, you, got, you just can't, uh, you go have to pay a fee or something like that, but you're not, you can't print over 300 pages per month, which is not really a problem for me. I mean, I wasn't, the only time I really had to print out a lot of stuff was I run a tax business and sometimes I, you know, print out tax documents for some of my customers. Uh, and I just quit doing that, you know, I just send them, I just email it to them now. You can go print your own stuff. But, uh, so you end up paying $150 a year just in the HP ink subscription itself. That's even if you don't print. So in two years, you spent $300, you know, in four years, you spent $600. And monthly fees, even if you don't print not one page, you're st you still it's still one hundred fifty dollars a year. You know, I mean, unless you want to cancel your subscription, you know, if you know you're not going to print or whatever, you can just cancel your subscription. But then you just won't be able to print. And then you know, when it's I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of patience. When it's time, and if I need something printed out, and it, I got I need to print it out. You know, I ain't got time for be hassling and dealing with stuff okay so that's the reason why you know i got this eco tank it's 300 dollars. you don't have no monthly fees it's like an old school printer so same thing with canon the canon pixma right i was thinking about getting that until i found out you have to subscribe to canon's uh, online thing so and again it's another fee like the you know, same thing about 15 dollars a month even if you don't print, you only get 300 pages. Now, I mean, let's say you, you know, you don't print that much. You still pay $15. I mean, over time, in a year, $150, you've bought three ink cartridges. You know what I mean? So I only got one set of ink cartridges like in five years for the HP. Now, I spent, what, at least $600 in monthly fees over, you know, four, almost five years. And I only got one set of ink cartridges because I don't print that much, you know. Um, I, you know, I, I got it. I did a couple, you know, printed out a couple pictures and stuff like that, some Polaroids. Uh, but that was about it. Uh, so uh, this is just like kind of being informative, sharing information, some reality. Uh, if you're going to do, you know, a HP, I, I don't like HP. Like, I don't. If it's an HP product, I'm not buying it no more. For Black Friday, uh, three Christmases ago, I got like two or three of the uh, touchscreen laptops. Uh, one for me and my daughter. And uh, they lasted, I think, two years. And then they both like died right before Black Friday, like two years later. Uh, maybe it was three years. Maybe we got three years out of it. But... That was that was a real crappy. Uh, <clears throat> there, the printer was a piece of crap. It didn't even last five years. And then I paid all this money to an online subscription, and I don't even use the thing. Um, I just I had a lot of bad experience with HP products. Period. Laptops, printers, everything. I just I'm just not. I've lost all faith in that in that brand. Um, so anyway, this is just like sharing information. Be careful before you think about buying an HP printer. Make sure, you know, unless you're, make sure you didn't, you don't have to sign up for HP Inc. HP Inc. sucks. HP Inc. sucks. There's no customer service. You can't call any 1-800 number if you got a problem. Um, and like I said, you got these monthly fees that 
even if you don't use the thing, you know, and it's like, it's going to be $150 a month. That's usually about at least three ink cartridges. Usually they're only $30 a piece. Shoot, I could have bought a whole set, a whole clip of ink cartridges for $150. Like, I don't need you. And they sent me, you know, one clip, you know, magenta, cyan, whatever, black, and then yellow. Uh, same thing with Canon Pix, but beware. You know, saying beware. You probably got to sign up for like a monthly, a monthly thing. Anyway, uh, that was my experience with HP printer. That's my, you know, I'm going with the Eco Tank. Um, from now on, I will never buy another HP product again. Uh, and same thing for Canon. I'm not buying no Canon printers because you gotta sign up for that monthly crap. Anyway, this is just a warning. You know, a little information if you're gonna buy one of those printers.